So you are building a gaming computer and you're stuck deciding whether to go for an i5 or an i7 and you can't decide. Well, if you ask yourself, do I need an i5? Will an i5 processor be enough for me? Or do I need an i7 processor? Now we are talking about the new releases here, guys. Okay, we're talking about the latest CPU processors because you always want to get the latest. And if you disagree with me, then I agree with you. You have the right to disagree. Learn to agree and disagree anyways. So, based on my experience, I'm going to ask you this question. What are you going to be using the computer for? If your answer is, well, I'm going to be using the computer for gaming only. I am not a YouTuber. I am not a Twitch streamer. I don't edit videos. The only thing that I want to do is game and use my computer for browsing. Then you have a powerful machine with an i5 as an example i5 6600k the latest release skylake the new release is about to come out as i am uh, making this video uh, kb lake if i am not wrong if i'm wrong i'm sorry you're probably going to get the i5 the new processor from kb lake but as of right now if you're stuck right now and if you don't know what to get you know the i7 6700k is going to be more money but like I said, what are you going to be using the computer for? I'm sorry guys that I say, like I say, I am sorry. <laughs> I need to get that word out of my mouth. But anyway guys, and I say anyways too. I'm sorry if you're triggered by that. Stop watching this video and get the hell away before you leave a bad comment. Okay, let's get back to the video. If you're going to be using the computer like only for gaming, then you are perfectly fine with an i5 6600K or i5 if you say well i want to get the i5 and i also want to do some video editing because i'm a youtuber and i am tight on a budget let me tell you something i have used i5 processors to edit videos not crazy 3d render animated videos but you know gaming videos take videos like i'm doing right now and stuff like that i have done gaming i have you know i use geforce to record my gameplays and whatnot you are perfectly fine with an i5 as an example the newest one like i said is the 6600k i have used it i have built several computers with that processor those computers are working perfectly fine there is not absolute a fail on them it's a beast and i have edited a lot of videos with an i5 6600k save yourself some money you don't need the 6700k unless you need to feed your ego because <laughs> honestly guys like walking on the street hey man i got a ferrari hey man i got a mustang gt it's kind of that type of thing both cars are gonna take you one way both car both cars are awesome both cars are gonna do the job man this is probably the worst example that i have used ever before but anyways another tip always get the newest release always always i mean you don't want to go get the i5 4690k unless you find it for like 50 bucks out there then man that's a hell of a deal you know what i mean but as an example the i7 4790k right now there has been Three releases after the 4790k and that thing is still cost 349 329 dollars unless you find it out there on ebay and stuff like that but it's still over the 300 dollars you can buy a used but mm, mm, i wouldn't really buy a used cpu processor i just wouldn't unless i know the person and i unless i trust the person that is gonna back me up and give my money back if that thing doesn't work i5 6600k or a core i5 latest release you are perfectly fine unless you have like this crazy six monitor setup and you got two graphics cards and you're going to be doing 3d rendering and streaming at the same time if you're going to be triple multitasking then you do need an i7 always having 
a higher number is better but most of the time it's only to feed the ego and more that the i5s now have the hyper threading means that it has more processor to the core so it's like an i5 6600k is a four four core eight threads i'm not gonna get into that type of aspect right now detail but if you're battling with yourself an i5 an i7 go with an i5 you don't need an i7 save that money buy yourself something for the computer lighting better hard drive better ssd something good but don't waste your money on an i7 because i have done my gaming i have used an i7 i have used an i5 skylake 6600k 6700k i have done gaming recording streaming at the same time using the, the machine the computer with the gtx 1070 there was no difference i mean there's a little bit of more cpu usage with an i5 than an i7 but pretty much that is for uh what do you call it um multitasking man i got a brain fart right now guys i'm gonna end this video with do you need an i5 6600k do you need an i7 processor you need an i7 you need an i7 you know that you need an i7 go buy it but if you're battling between an i5 and i7 if you're a simple user just a gamer and that wants to record his gameplays and also stream at the same time you are fine with an i5 6600k or with a core i5 but if you want to feed your ego and like be like hey man look at this i got a, an i7 6700k or an i5 5820k <clears throat> Ah. <laughs> anyway guys thanks for listening to me talk about this question that i get all the time and if you have any questions down below any comments if i said something wrong please uh comment down below but don't hate because i remove hate comments i don't allow that here all right have a great great weekend yeah